Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. And in today's video, we are going to be making some of these texture filled, pattern filled designs that look like embroidery, something similar. All right. And we're going to be doing that inside of Affinity. Affinity makes it super, super easy to do. So that's how we're going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on the little plus here to create a new design. I do mine standard in 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to create the new document. And I'm going to decide what theme I want to go for. I'm going to explain what I've done here quick. Uh, inside of my private community in our creative learning lab, every day I give out uh, daily prompts. And along with the prompts, you also have ideas on how to make these into different products and things like that. The cost of the community is $2 a month. So, you know, it's an incredible bargain for what I give every day. So yesterday I had given a prompt to create a textured fabric heart background like this. All right. And that is absolutely adorable, but I didn't want to use hearts for my, I wanted to scale this out for different holidays, different seasons, different things like that. So I took the prompt and I brought it in here to our Vera, the variation generator. And all you have to do here with Vera is tell her to scale this prompt for different elements and color palettes. Okay. And I say focus on occupation, seasonal designs. All right. And then I paste that original prompt in. And what she will do now is she will turn this into 10 different prompts for me with different focuses rather than hearts. Uh, this one is stethoscopes, nurse caps, teacher themed elements, and things like that. So she'll generate a bunch of those. And I had her do that earlier. And she created some different ones for me. We have this one for teachers. We have this one for St. Patrick's Day, fall. And I had her do like hunting camo and then also a camouflage in like the knit style. All right. So those are some of the images we're going to be working with today. So let's go back in here to Affinity and let's decide on our first design. The first thing we're going to do is come over here on the left. We're going to make sure we're in Vector Studio first, okay? We were in Pixel, but we're going to move into the Vector Studio. Then we're going to click on our Artistic Text tool. And I'm just going to drag that out. And I think let's go with the teacher theme. So we're just going to look for a varsity style font. And I have this one, AB School Varsity. We're just going to use that one. And I'm going to write the word teach. Okay. And I'm just going to resize it a little so it fits into my artboard a little better. And I'm looking at it and I want this to be a little taller. I want these letters taller. So I'm going to grab this little node right here at the bottom and I'm going to hold in my shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to pull it down because that will make the letters taller, but not wider. And I think I like that right there where it is. And next, I know I want to have like a little bit of an arch on this. So I'm going to come up to the top to vector and I'm going to select new warp group and I'm just going to select quad. And then I'm going to come right back down in here to the middle again, right here. And I'm just going to push up just a little. So it has just a little bit of an angle, not too much. Right. And I think that looks good. And now I think I need to separate these just a little bit. So I am going to, and now I think they're fine the way they are. They're fine the way they are. Now, before we can like really work with these and fill them with our patterns, we need to convert these to curves. Right now it is just text. So we are going to right click on the design and then just click select convert to curves. You can also use control return on your keyboard if you want to. Now you see we can select each letter individually. And that's how we know it has done its job and converted everything to curves for us. 
So our next step will be to fill these in with our selected image, our selected pattern. So over here on your left menu again, you're gonna wanna look for your shape builder tool and you're gonna select vector flood fill tool from that menu. And then you'll come to the top and you'll select set bitmap fill. We'll click on that. And then you'll find the image that you want to use as the fill. And I am going with the apples and pencils in ABC here because we did the teach. So now you can see down here in the lower right left corner, lower left corner, the image that is set currently for your fill. So now all you do is hover over the letters and you just click that little paint bucket tool and you can fill it with your pattern. And you can move it around if you want to, if there's you know certain areas you want to have showing up and you can scale it. Once you have it looking the way you like with these little handles, just click onto the next one and you can do the same thing. You can make these a little bigger. You can rotate if you want. And we're just gonna make these, I'm gonna move this one around, I think, so the apple shows up a little more. There we go, I think right there. And you just, you know, like I said, just move things around and put it where you want it. And once you're happy with it, you can move on to the next one and put that one where you want it. And I think I like it just like that. And now you have your word teach filled in with your patterns. Now you have a couple options from here. We can come over here to our right hand panel and click on the quick effects. We can add a little bit of dimension to this by, well, let me select it all first. Select your word and then go to quick effects and you can add some dimension to this. I'm gonna zoom in a little so you can see this a little better. And we selected 3D so we can add some, you know, dimension to our image, to our letters, okay? We can do that. And the next step is I want to add a border to this. So I'm going to come up here to stroke. And in these style options here, on the far right, it says path brush. We're going to select that. Now I have a bunch of brushes here. I will leave the link for you. I got a lot of these from Etsy. So I'm going to come down here and look for some embroidery. I have different embroidery brushes and we're just going to select a brush that we like. See which one. I like this one. That one looks pretty good. Or maybe this one right here. And we can adjust the size of it. So I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And then if we come over here to color, we can adjust the color on this as well. So I think I'm gonna go over here to red and make it just like a little bit lighter, like a pinkish almost, and call that good. So we have our first one done. This one says teach, and this will look great on sweatshirts, t-shirts, tote bags, whatever you want. You can add, you know, more elements to this. If you wanted to, you could put a year under here. It's completely up to you. But this pattern filled embroidery look um, like an applique, now this is done. You can package this up and sell it in your Etsy shop. All right. So we've done this one. Let's create a new artboard and do another. Let's add another artboard over here, move over, right? And let me zoom out just a little and move things around here. All right, that one looks good. And in this one, I think, let's do the same thing. We start with our text. And this one, let's go with, let's go with just fall. That's always another popular, but you know, you can create, the textured backgrounds, the patterns, uh, actually let's do lucky. You know, you can create textured backgrounds for any theme or holiday you want. You could do a Mother's Day, Father's Day. It doesn't really matter. The choice is yours. 
This one I am going to separate the letters a little bit more. So I clicked my A up here for character and I'm going to expand. I'm going to increase my tracking just a little bit. I think that should be good enough. Yeah, that won't be bad. And again, I want to put the arch on this just because it looks nice and that's, or you could just leave it the way it is. Yeah, let's just leave this one flat. But again, we are going to select the text, right click, convert to curves. And now each one is its own separate letter. So we will come back over here, vector flood fill tool, set our bitmap, and this time we want our shamrocks because we did the lucky. Double check down here in the lower left that your set fill is the proper image. And then again, just come in and size your image where you want it. And let's make this a little bigger and be conscious. If you do not have, if your background isn't a seamless pattern, you want to pay attention and make sure that um, where you are putting it, like see right here, let me zoom in. You can see the change right there. So we want to make sure that our pattern is not, you know, the edges aren't showing up in our letters, which is fairly simple. You know, just make this bigger and move things around to make sure your lines where your pattern starts and ends isn't showing up. So let's make that just a hair bigger there. All right. And we'll do the same thing here on the last letter. And everything is looking pretty good. Yep, everything looks pretty good there. So I'm gonna zoom out just a hair, not much. So now we have our letters just like we wanted. So we are going to grab our move tool again, select our entire word. We're gonna come up here to stroke. And again, we're gonna use the path brush. And we are going to choose our border again, okay? And adjust our sizing. And I think that looks pretty good. And if it's looking wonky, you can always click this scale with object. Um, I didn't need to do that for this one. And here's a different, let's zoom in, a little different style uh, border here, which looks pretty good too. This just looks like uh, the stitching. So let's go with that one this time. And for this, I want to come over here and grab a green, but I want to make it pretty darn close. And I think I like that. It's green, but it's not overbearing. And that looks pretty good. So that one would be done. And you could repeat this for as many designs as you want, different words, a different you know, different occupations. You could make these for nurses. Like we just did one for a teacher. We did St. Patrick's Day. You could do hunting. You could do fishing. You could do so many different uh, words using this style. And they are super fast and super easy to make. All righty. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. Take a minute, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.